Okay, hey everybody, I am back. I probably surprised a lot of you with announcing um, the arrival of another baby to our family, Xander Francis Robert Shaw. Um, we are very happy that he's here and that he arrived safely and he's just a bundle of fun. It was really awesome because my mom was there, Chris was there, and they both said I did a really good job, but you'll have to ask them. <laughs> anyway, a few weeks ago, Chris and I told Branson that maybe we should ask God for a baby. So every evening when we said our family prayers, um, Branson would pray for a baby. We didn't really want to tell him outright that we were having a baby just because I feel that, um, well, I wanted to kind of keep it a secret. Um, and I feel like respect for the um, miracle and the mystery of birth and pregnancy and all that stuff, I don't think kids that young need to know about it yet. So that's why we kind of brought it to him sort of from a faith angle and in the hopes that it will inspire faith for him. All right, so now is the big moment and Chris is gonna show Xander to us. All right. Okay, so here he is. Oh, he is he is careful. much bigger than when he was first born. He's three weeks old now. Okay, buddy. Hey. You're okay. See, you're with your dad. He loves his dad. Uh, so a couple I people were move. asking about his name. Um, and when we were expecting Xander, we looked back in our family uh, trees on both sides. We wanted to look for some names that came from our families. Um, and we had a Alexander and an Alexandra going a few generations back. And that's your family, right? And yes, that is in my mom's ancestors. So we, uh, we thought to go with a derivative of that. And so we have Xander. And Francis is after my father. That is his second name. And also, you know, Francis is easy. <laughs> I should not have said that. People have had very good responses for us with his name. Um, some people like the X, some people hate it. But I didn't want to do the phonetic spelling of Xander because that is a kind of, I think, Norwegian fish. I don't know if it's Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> just make that up. <laughs> Probably to dream about it. No, so Xander with an X, just, I just love how it looks. Uh, somebody asked me if I was a Red Sox fan because apparently there is a Xander that is a shortstop for the Red Sox. Yeah, Xander Bogart. No, no, not a Red Sox fan. Okay, so Chris has some a couple things to get to, right? And this guy needs to go in his bed. You are really content. That's very nice. So one thing that is incredible about community is that the care we receive. So since we've brought Xander home, um, an incredible amount of love and care has been shown to us. So for the first bit, um, a nurse came and visited me every day to make sure you know my blood pressure was good and, and that the baby was doing well and um, came and weighed him and made sure he was growing and that um, breastfeeding was going good. And then I got to have both Chris's mom and my mom came and um, made sure I was getting rest and they took care of the baby so I could sleep. Our community kitchen here prepared meals for us and they actually are still preparing meals for us um, for the next bit. But. Um, it was interesting because a lot of advice that I read like on the internet about um, getting ready for your baby is like, make sure you put um, food in your freezer and make lasagna and do this and that and put it in your freezer and so that you're able to um, cook meals for yourself and you don't have to do it from scratch. Um, but I didn't have to do that. There's also not very much space in my freezer because I share a freezer with like a whole bunch of families. But, um, but that is the one thing that's um, very amazing about community. Um, how we can do things for each other. So one thing we're really looking forward to is when we can bring Xander and kind of present him to the community. It's not like, it's not a baptism. So, but we bring him to a special gathering or a meeting with the whole community. So all the children will be there, um, Branson and his friends. And then we'll receive a special prayer that kind of welcomes him into the community. So we're really looking forward to that. So I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who expressed um, good wishes and congratulations to Chris and I on the arrival of Xander Francis. And we are just super grateful and feel just really blessed to have this beautiful gift in our life. So thanks. It's pretty peaced out right now.
Did you just feed him?